Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a Wednesday, and there's something special about today on Wednesday in FIFA 23. We have the first ones to watch upgrades that are going to be given out because of the wins threshold that has been achieved by four different ones to watch cards in this game. We are going to have some live upgrades today. We expect, of course, this is how EA have done it in the past couple of years to this Gabriel Jesus wants to watch card and three others. I want to talk about that. The team of the week five that is coming today, content that we see, could see today on Wednesday, and also the massive leak of a player of the month, Lionel Messi card. That also could be today, but most likely is tomorrow on Thursday. That was the day last year when League One player of the month got dropped most often. So I want to talk about all that in today's video and look at the team of the week upgrade that EA dropped yesterday along with the Ramadel Falcao SBC. A lot of interesting pack content here and I think there's a reason why EA keeps dropping this 80 plus team of the week upgrade. Now the second week in a row they have done so. So if you're excited for a big Wednesday hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's start by talking about these ones to watch upgrades because I've even put some coins right now my own coin balance into some of these cards and I want to talk about what to expect with these guys today and their upgrades. Now, of course, the reason we're getting the upgrade here is because these players' clubs have got three wins in their first eight games, right? There's only been like three or four games that these clubs have played. I think most of them have only played three. And they have won all three. So, players from these clubs, Gabriel Jesus... Raheem Sterling SBC, Dest Objective, and Dybala are the four cards that should be getting upgrades today because they have hit the threshold to get that wins to watch upgrade. Now, a lot of these cards, the two that are on the market, Dybala and Jesus, are up in price. Specifically, Gabriel Jesus is up in price a lot. Now, what's going to happen with these guys' prices today? I bought a Gabriel Jesus at 270-something thousand coins yesterday on stream, and right now I'm listing it for right around 300,000 coins. I think that for Jesus and for Dybala that are going to be, of course, um, getting upgraded today that are on the market, I would expect these guys' prices to rise up a little bit more in the morning today on Wednesday, but after 6 p.m., these cards, I mean, think about it. Once to watch was not that long ago. I know there are a lot of people that have invested in these cards and they're expecting them to go up after the upgrade. But I think that for, a, for both of these cards, they might end up going down after the upgrade, right? We've seen this happen last year and years past. And even with some of the ones to watch cards that have gotten upgraded this year, a lot of the hype is actually before the player gets the upgrade. And then you have everybody that invested that is expecting the card to go up afterwards hold the card and wait for it to go up, but then it doesn't, and then they start listing and they drive the price down, down, down. So let's be realistic, right? Gabriel Jesus's gold card with these same stats sells for like 1,200 coins on this market. How is this card 300K, right? It doesn't make that much, much sense. So if you have a Gabriel Jesus, if you have a Dybala, I have one of each. I would be looking to sell those cards into the hype today, sometime this morning on Wednesday. Um, I'm not saying you have to hold right up until the content drop. I'm just saying that these cards are up a lot and it's a good time to take the money because I think a lot of people will start to sell the cards that they have invested in. Of course, they expect these to go up. So that's what the big news about ones to watches are today. Especially if you did the Dest Objective, if you did the Sterling SBC, you're super excited today because those are two cards that are getting upgraded. And there's more games today on Wednesday that are affecting ones to watch cards. Lewandowski is in game today. Uh, they're playing. If, if Bayern win today on Wednesday, the win will technically happen after content. So I do not expect Lewandowski with a Barcelona win to get upgraded today. We'll have to wait till next week for him. Same thing with Chalmany. And Rudiger, I would be very careful with some of these guys, though. Like, Chamani is 130,000 coins. He is up big in the past two days. I would sell a card like that into the hype again, even though he's so so much inflated right now. Uh, you know, I would even consider selling that today. If, if he wins and goes higher, I would consider selling that. Same thing with Darwin Nunez. I mean, Liverpool are only on one win right now. If you want to track and see how close these guys are to upgrades... If you go to Footbin, I'll show you this. You can go to the top, you can click on the squads, dynamic players, ones to watches, and you can see in here which cards are close to their wins to watch upgrade. Now, of course, the team of the week aspect, and if a player scores a couple of goals or maintains a clean sheet, maybe for one of the defenders, you absolutely have potential for inform still uh, through some of these midweek games. But most of the time, EA do end up giving team of the weeks out for the games that happen on the weekend. Um, so if you do see some hype for those cards today as well, 
it's the same, right? With normal ones to watch trading and, and ones to watch fluctuations, selling in the hype is the key. And that's what I wanted to get across. But these upgrades today will be pretty exciting. Of course, the Gabriel Jesus should get a plus two. That, of course, is a regular team of the week upgrade. Dybala will get a plus one from an 86 to an 87. Dest uh, will get a really massive upgrade today. I think he's going to go from a 77 to an 81 is what we'd expect. So that's going to be a pretty exciting card to watch out for today. Keep an eye on your Serie A links, uh, or your, especially your AC Milan links. Maybe a guy like Inform Leal, Tomori, Teo Hernandez, Tonali, especially if there's anybody in Team of the Week from AC Milan, there could be some added hype with this card getting a pretty sizable upgrade since he's a lower rated item. So that's just something to watch out for today on this game in terms of the content that we are getting. Now, what else should we get today on Wednesday? I'm honestly not expecting that big of a day. I mean, we had a little bit more content yesterday than I was expecting then, but Wednesdays, we always see a brand new team of the week and a brand new Silver Stars card. This one's going to be going away. Silver Beast should be staying, right? This has seven days left, 14 hours, so this will be there for another week. A brand new Silver Stars would be dropped today. And if you take a look at Footbin, this, this team of the week that we're supposed to be having today this is the prediction according to them. It's not looking that hot. You've got Silas, you've got um, Lautaro, another Fede Valverde, potentially a Sané card. It just doesn't look like there's that many heavy hitters. There's really no leaks right now at the moment either. So watch out for some Team of the Week leaks today on Wednesday because I'm sure we will have some of those as we get closer and closer to 6 p.m. UK. But it doesn't look that crazy of a team of the week by any means. But other than that, I'm not expecting a whole lot today on Wednesday. Um, you know, yesterday on Tuesday, speaking of team of the weeks, we had the 80 plus team of the week upgrade pack, which EA has now dropped an 80 plus team of the week upgrade two weeks in a row. They just keep adding the new team of the week or the, the last team of the week, right? The most recent one every single week that we go on. They allowed us to do this SBC 10 times i did it twice um i forget who even i got I, I didn't get that many great players oh i got that sh uh sham guy that was a striker from the Serie A. My, in my second one in the first one i got kamada from frankfurt so again it's just this sbc right here is it's it's kind of like a gamble sbc but i really think ea sports is being very smart with this 80 plus team league upgrade because i think they're going to keep releasing this every week and i think they have a plan what i really think they're trying to do by releasing this every single week is putting team of the week cards into people's clubs so that the team of the week cards that we like to invest in right at this card value don't end up going up over time right i really think that's what ea's goal here is is to supply people's clubs with those team of the week cards so that over time like we saw last year remember when all team of the week cards at one point, we're going for like 30,000 coins and people are making buku coins because they just put a bunch in their club and then sold them when they went up. I really think EA is trying to combat that over the course of this year in FIFA by supplying those untradeable via this SBC. So what we watch out for is them to add another pack to the code this next week that says an 80 plus team week upgrade, team of the week's number one through five, including the team of the week that will be dropped today. And that's kind of where my thought process is going with that. But I'll be honest, it's not a terrible value SBC because, yes, you do have the chance of getting somebody like Salah, Holland, you know, uh, the Cancelo and Tamori from the most recent team of the week are in there as well. So, you know, there's that value aspect of it because it is only an 83 rated squad. You do have to turn in an 85 rated player, though. And the, I mean, we got this SBC repeatable 10 times yesterday, which was a big improvement from the week before where we could only do it once. And since you can do this 10 times and since 83s are cheap, People went out and bought that 85 rated card that they need to get this done. And 85s are absolutely to the moon. 85s are 12K plus. And if you have any of the 14K for Gulashi right now, I just literally clicked on his card and he went up another 2,000 coins. My recommendation to you is sell. I mean, look what these guys were on the weekend. They doubled in price. That is an absolutely... I mean, outrageous market rise in a three to four day period. Even yesterday, Patrick Schick goes from 7K all the way to 13,000 coins. 
I don't care what your opinion on fodder is right now. For the rest of the fodder market, you can keep holding. These cards, you gotta sell, right? I think you have to sell these cards because the peak of this SBC was, out, in my opinion, like yesterday and today. I mean, these cards at 12 to 13K, that's just such a big rise in the last two days. I mean, they're even starting to creep up in price towards the 86s, right? When your 85s and your 86s are like this close, that should tell you that you should be selling those cards. So, I mean, technically, the 80-plus team of the week is available for another four days, and I'm sure that not everybody got it done right away, but we're going to have some more uh, supply from Division Rivals Rewards on Thursday, tomorrow. We're going to have the marquee matchups tomorrow on Thursday as well. I would be in the camp of wanting to sell those fodder cards probably today if you have not already or maybe tonight if you think they can go up a little bit more today on the market but i think those cards are up so much they are 100 percent a sell because this weekend when we get sbc or when we get pack supply those guys are definitely going to hit uh, a downturn a little bit because they're just let's face it way too expensive right now and there's so much demand for that 85 rated player because that was a specific requirement in this sbc but it, it will be interesting to see how ea continue to drop 80 plus team of the week upgrades if they continue that throughout the year or if it's just like something right now because they're starting to require Team of the Weeks in other SBCs uh, like they required a Team of the Week in the Icon Pack uh, two days ago. That seems to be a theme. They're starting to give out those. So that's kind of where I'm getting that thought process from that EA is trying to supply those into people's clubs, which I really think does make sense. Now, let's stretch it a bit further and think about other potential content that could come today, but I really think is going to be coming tomorrow on Thursday because that was the popular day last year where EA Sports dropped player of the month for La sorry for League 1. I almost said La Liga. We've already got La Liga player of the month, right? It was Valverde. League 1 player of the month has been leaked. It is not official. Let me mind you. Let me let me tell you this is not an official leak. Once again, we take this with a grain of salt because out of all of the player of the months that have been leaked in the past year. League One leaks have been the least reliable, let's be honest, right? One time we heard that Neymar won Player of the Month and it was like Tiago Mendez or something like that. I'm sure a lot of you guys remember that. But there was a leak earlier yesterday. Foot Sheriff said that Messi is the League One Player of the Month. Now, I'm waiting for confirmation on this because the UNFP Twitter page, which is the official French page, they even have the vote on their website. This is where we vote for League One Player of the Month on their actual website. You see, this is the voting again right here. I really thought that Dango Altaro was going to win. He had four goals, two assists on the month. Messi had one goal, three assists. Both of their clubs went undefeated. But the fan vote must be pretty insane, right? And you even see me responding to Foot Sheriff's leak here. Uh, we really thought that Dango was going to be winning because of the insane month that he had, because usually player of the months are awarded more so based off of statistics rather than like status or the fan vote, right? But the League One fan vote must be insane, have an insane weight on the final outcome of the decision because Messi is leaked. So what I would really say is watch out for that confirmation as Messi is 1.1 mil flat on this road to the knockout card right now. Wait for a confirmation tweet from the UNFP website because that will kind of cement it in because they should announce that player of the month you know, when whoever it is, Messi, or if it that is indeed that Dango Altara, which it really seems like it is Messi, we should get some news on that today, hopefully, uh, and then either see the SBC today, but more likely, likely, I think, see the SBC tomorrow. Now, how much is a Messi Player of the Month SBC going to be, right? Well, of course, the card would be 92 rated. It would be a plus one upgrade over his base gold card. His base gold dropped a little bit yesterday, and so did that Road to the Knockouts card. Here's my opinion. I think that Messi, the rumor of this, and him getting, him getting Player of the Month, you saw his gold card drop a little bit yesterday after the leak was initially put out. I think that's going to happen today again on Wednesday. I mean, you can even pinpoint it to a specific hour, right? He was like 270K. He dipped down to about 257. His SBC didn't drop. He went back up into the 260s. I think he's probably going to drop a little bit today. Same thing with the Road to the Knockouts card, this 92. Since the new one that would drop would also be 92 rated. You see this drop off here from 1.2 all the way down to 1.1 and back up into the 1.1 middle type of range. Change. Um, I think you would see a little bit more sell-off on these cards in the next day or so until the SBC comes out. But how much is a messy player of the month going to end up being? Personally, I think if it's any less than like 600k, 
it's probably decent value for a plus one on the Messi card. He'll get over 90 shooting. Um, he'll get a little bit more pace. I, I imagine it wouldn't be that big of an upgrade, but still... Um, hopefully EA can give a couple upgrades maybe that we weren't um, expecting, maybe a couple extra point boosts on stat boosts or whatever it may be. But I just don't think that EA are going to give him a huge boost. Let's be completely honest, right? And usually they don't make these really big name players of the month SBCs that cheap. They don't want to make them that grindable and they don't want to make you, you know, be able to put aside your coins really easily to have an untradeable Messi in your team for a long time. Although that will be the draw to this SBC if it does get released in the next two days. So I think anywhere between like 700 to 900,000 coins is going to be a realistic price point for this Messi SBC because you'll get packs back. You'll be able to craft it over a 30 day time frame. Do I think it'll end up being good value? Probably not, but we'll just have to see when they release the SBC. That might make you ask, Nate, is SBC fodder going to go up even more because of this? Can we invest? I, I just don't like investing in SBC fodder when it's already up so much already, right? Ruben Diaz and all your 88 rated cards are like 27, 28,000 coins after the icon pack. They're still very high in value. I would rather say if you want to do this player of the month messy and you know, even before it's released, you will want to get it done. I would say set your targets on maybe waiting for fodder to drop on Friday or on Saturday with the pack supply. And then if the SBC is out tomorrow, then look into doing that card because you probably get it done cheaper on those type of time frame and that sort of schedule than you would if you did it like right away. As Of course, as SBC fodder right now is up a decent amount. So that's kind of what I would say that for that. Now, if the SBC is really good value, some of your other PSG links could start to go up in, in value as well, you know, with some link investments, but that's just something it's going to have to be a situation where we see the price of the Messi and then go out and of course react to see how the market's going to re respond to that based on the, what the price of the SBC is. So that's my opinion there on that Messi SBC. Now let's talk market a little bit because these last couple of days, but specifically yesterday in general on Tuesday was a really quiet day on the market, right? You had a little bit of content that moved cards like the fodder 85s, the 83s went up a little bit, but what you really didn't see is the meta market having that many moves. There were some small fluctuations for sure. And you had some player prices that did go up specifically those ones to watch cards like we were talking about, but how do you trade on a day where there's really not that much content, how can you make coins, especially like we like to do with a quick short-term flip kind of fluctuation method? How can you make coins on a day like yesterday when there was really not that much going on? Well, a lot of what you can do is people people sell off cards like every single day heading into 6 p.m. content just because they get afraid. They get scared of what content is potentially going to drop. And then, of course, they think, okay, this content was not very scary or there wasn't really good content. Then they go back out to the market and buy their cards up, right? Let's take a look at this Shenman Sun Inform. I really like looking at rare cards and just cards that you see dropping into 6 p.m. content every day. You can see this Shenman Sun went down to 397 content drops and he ends up going all the way back up to 440,000 coins that's kind of the, the fluctuation that you're looking for right a card that is more rare is probably going to have a better chance of, of rising as well some of your hero cards yesterday did pretty well especially with the falcal sbc that we had that is of course a really fun SBC. I haven't talked about this yet, but I think this SBC is cool, right? I think it's a great price. Yes, it's not like a super duper insane, but it's just a cool SBC and it fits in right now with the, the La Liga hype. So GG's to EA for this one. He can be lengthy with an architect, of course, and that gives his card that lengthy boost that so many people love for the meta of the game. That made some of the La Liga cards go up a little bit extra. You take a look at the Mascherano Hero card. Yesterday, he was around 150, spiked to about 180, and is now back down in the 170,000 coin range. Some of your other um, La Liga heroes like Cap de Villa went up a decent amount as well. So you have to kind of look for this stuff that, if, especially if there's some content that drops on that day that makes people really excited, some link investments or whatever it may be, that could impact fodder prices for sure. But a lot of what happened 
happened yesterday was I bought a couple of ones to watch cards. I was watching that road to knockouts messy. It just didn't work out for me to buy him at the right point. Uh, but I did buy the Gabriel Jesus at like 275. Like I mentioned, I bought an Anthony for 208. Um, Mane, again, you can see is a lot of people are focused on these live cards right now as they're about to get upgraded. These were a good buy yesterday. He was 550 at content. Now he's all the way up at 592 just because he's rare. He's got games upcoming. Same thing with the Darwin Nunez. He's exploding in price right now, anticipating a win this later uh, this week today. Lewandowski with a win today. Again, gets closer to that upgrade. So that's the kind of thing you have to look for. And when you see like, or when you expect it to be like a non-tent day, as we say it, it does take a little bit of risk and it's a little scary, like buying before 6 p.m. content. I completely understand that, right? If you think about it, you're like, Nate, what if I buy before 6 p.m. content and then EA Sports go and end up and then drop an insane madness of a day content-wise? Yeah, that's, that's always the risk, right? But the flip side of the coin is, of course, EA doesn't drop an insane day of content, right? Tuesdays, Wednesdays are pretty common days, especially Thursdays too, where, you know, some weeks there's really good stuff and other weeks there's not really good stuff. And what has the trend been in the past couple of days in the Rule Breakers promo? It's been not that great of content. So that kind of continued yesterday and that's why you saw the market move like it did. And it created some opportunities for some fluctuations on card prices. And uh, you saw some cards bounce back up in the first hour or two after content for a great flipping opportunity. Fakir was like 300,000 coins. He went all the way up to over 320K. Right now he's still a little bit down, but you had a good fluctuation there. Um, it was it was everywhere. Some of the impacts rule breaker cards like we just looked at with Fakir, he was a good fluctuation. Some of your auto pack special cards were good. It was kind of just everywhere yesterday. You picked the most meta popular and rare cards like we a lot of times talk about. There was a lot of opportunity for fluctuation. So regardless of that, if today is an L day of content in general, besides the ones to watch upgrades, which is gonna be a lot of hype around, keep an eye out for maybe some cards that drop into the content today, maybe some icons, maybe even some meta golds. We'll see what the market does today after the 6 p.m. content drop. I'm really not expecting too much of a market rise today because it is pretty common to see on Wednesdays a little bit of a market drop um, just because it seems like the, the switch kind of flips, right? People are grinding rivals Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, but then Wednesday evening, they start to sell off their cards as people get ready for, you know, division rivals rewards. And then of course, tomorrow we'll be looking at some cards and say, hey, are is there a potential for cards to get low late tonight, Wednesday into tomorrow with division rivals rewards that we could potentially make some coins on? Last week, it was really, really good. So we'll see if there's that potential again today on Wednesday, heading into tomorrow on Thursday. So if you're excited for that, join the Twitch stream today. We'll be talking about all of that live on the game, but it's a big day for once to watch upgrades. Hopefully some news about a messy player of the month. We also do have our first really, really quick at the end of the video, our first rule breakers team two player leak. It is Musa Sissoko in league one. So that is a French card in league one, no longer in the Premier League, but that could be a card that is, especially in this year's game, incredibly overpowered. I mean, just think about that guy at center back, right? Absolutely incredible. So that's our first leak. Besides the ribbery that we already know about, that's the second leak, I guess you could say, for a card that should be in packs on Friday. Hopefully we'll get some more of that today, or maybe not hopefully, but I'm assuming we'll get some more league uh, or some more rumors and leaks about the team two of rule breakers today on Wednesday. So if you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate, the foot account, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.